pretty much everything. I mean, football is like the center of a guy's world, and like if there wasn't football, I mean, there's really no other good sport. So, pretty much it's everything. Like whenever you're bored or whenever you like want to do something, you can go and watch football. Just being there, like with all the atmosphere and everything, like being around all the players and like being and watching in person and then other than that like either playing on your game or like on the computer like it's really everywhere. Anytime like you want to watch sports on TV like there'd be nothing but baseball because the NBA is in the lockout too and like it being one dimensional it's just not good. Welcome to this exhibition clash between the Browns and the Bengals. Chris you live in this area what does this matchup mean to these two organizations? Well because the Browns and the Bengals love to hate each other. Like it helps you appreciate it more, so you get to like watch the in-depth players and see how good they do, and it gives you a chance to root for single players and other teams. Like if you don't like the Steelers, but like you have like Richard Mendenhall on your team, you can root for him, but you don't root for him. Good coverage down. Oh, Cole McCoy's got he's going for it. Oh. Because they got rid of players that they could have kept and would have made their team better. But instead, they, they're keeping players now that are doing absolutely nothing. Like Carson Palmer, who hasn't played a game all season and probably won't play a game all season. They kept him, but they got rid of one of the best defenders. They were thinking like long term, and they're not really trying to win it this year. By getting all these young players, they're trying to go for the future so that in the long run, they're going to have a lot better team than they have now. Just trade away all the garbage on the team and get younger players and get better in the end. Well, I think they're going to go 8-8. Eight and eight, and They're not going to make the playoffs because being with the Ravens, I think they're at a lot better year than the 4-12 last year, so.